Well, well, I'm in the shed, so we're checking out the thermometer just to see what sort of temperature the spider we're going to have a look at is enduring. What's that? About 98 in my language. And uh, about, what about 37 or something in the other language? We're in the shed and we're checking out spider temperatures. That's what we're doing. Let's go and have a look at the spider now. Here's a big spider and it's enjoying the warm climate. However, it's near the front door, so in between, in between there is where you'll get a bit of a cool breeze. So it's getting a bit of a cool breeze. I don't know if it's a garden wolf spider or a huntsman. I'm not an expert on spiders, that sort of spider. I just think of them as hairy spiders. But that's where my fingers are to give you a context of its size. I don't want to get too near it in case it bites me. Is it a huntsman or a garden wolf? I know nothing about those sort of spiders. Hello spider. That's all she's been doing for the past day or so. Just sitting still like that. That's all she does. Sorry it's not very animated. Sorry it's a, not an action film. There's no need to disturb her. Is it though really? Notice how her head looks like the shape of a skull, the phantom's skull sign, the phantom's ring. It's a bit like the phantom's ring, isn't it? The skull sign. How close can we get without it going all blurry? There's the spider. We won't disturb her just for the sake of uh, seeing her move. It's not fair to her really, is it? It's not fair. I suppose she's waiting for a spider, I mean a fly or something. Everyone wants to eat, don't they, after all? Look, doesn't that look like this, oh, the phantom's skull ring? That's what it looks like. So, I just thought I'd show you this big spider. Where's my finger? And to get the full size. Where's my finger? So you know what size she is. She's quite a large one, but I have seen larger. I think most Australians have seen larger. Bye. It's a hot day today. Oh, and it's still only October. Imagine what summer's going to be like.